Hi, welcome to RCSP Florida. Today I want to take you on a journey through the life of a monarch butterfly from the beginning of its life to the end. The transformation this beautiful butterfly goes through is quite amazing. Sit back and enjoy the life of a monarch butterfly. It's spring in Florida and the monarch butterflies are starting their breeding season. They spend the day feeding and fluttering around like a wisp of spring air, flitting from flower to flower collecting nectar. Of course, since it is breeding season, the males and females are courting and mating. This goes on all day. Eventually, the female will begin laying its eggs, usually under a leaf of a milkweed plant, which is their host plant. I found that the majority of eggs do not hatch and become larvae. This is the same leaf I photographed this egg on and it's about five days later. All of the tiny black spots you see are eggs that did not survive and died. I have to assume they just were not fertilized and that is why they did not survive. The eggs that do hatch become a monarch larva or what I call a caterpillar. These quite striking larvae are like eating machines. They eat almost any part of the milkweed plant from leaves, to stems, to flowers, and even the seed pod. This goes on for days until they reach maturity. They will then usually leave the milkweed plants and try to find a suitable place to attach themselves for the next amazing transformation. I found this caterpillar about a foot off the ground, which was not exactly the best place to be. Once they attach themselves to whatever object they have picked, they hang there for a few hours and don't really move all that much. I shot this video mid-morning and it looked about the same at 6 p.m. that evening. The next morning, only 14 hours later, it went from this to this. It took only 14 hours for the larva to transform into a chrysalis. It is this chrysalis that will produce the monarch butterfly and the next generation will begin. Sit back and enjoy these scenes of the monarch butterfly living its normal everyday life. I hope you enjoyed this journey into the life of a monarch butterfly. While I was not fortunate enough to photograph every stage of their life, I hope I captured enough to give you a glimpse into their amazing lives. Monarchs live for around two to six weeks in the summer weather, unless they are migrating, and then they can live from August or September until around April. They eventually die of old age, just like humans. I captured this, but decided with what is going on in the world right now, I didn't need to include it in the video. It is all part of life, but I would rather focus on the good things and not the bad. Butterflies are amazing insects and they always bring a smile to my face whenever I see one. It was a challenge to get the tight shots that I showed you and I had to use macro photography techniques using extension tubes on my Sony 100-400mm GM lens and Sony 28-70mm kit lens to get some of the shots. A lot of times I was only inches away from the subject. I also used the 100 to 400 millimeter without extension tubes to get most of the monarchs feeding on the flowers. I used the Sony a7R3 as my camera body. A few of the shots that include the a7R3 were shot with my Panasonic GH5. I'm working on another video to show you how I got these shots and what equipment I use, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in macro photography. This entire video was shot in my backyard since we have to shelter in place in Florida right now. None of the places I normally go to shoot my videos are open. Hopefully they will be soon. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and hit the thumbs up button. If you would like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button in the lower right corner of your screen. I would appreciate that. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified when I post new videos. We all hope that what the world is going through right now will be over soon, so we can get back to leading our normal lives, whatever that might be, going forward. Until then, please stay safe. Please obey the stay-at-home and self-distancing orders that have been put in place. The life you save 
could be one of your loved ones. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.